Cute, badass, why not both? This is the Framework Desktop, a 4.5 liter desktop PC from the modular computer company, previously known for its laptops, now making mini ITX gaming PCs as well. It has a custom mainboard in here with AMD's most powerful APU, the Strix Halo chip, and up to 128 gigabytes of memory in this package. That mini ITX motherboard means it's not proprietary like the Mac Pro or other trash can gaming PCs of the past, nor is it just off-the-shelf components stuffed into a case. Framework made its own motherboard, found its own custom cooling solution from Cooler Master and Noctua, there's even a new Noctua fan in here, and built a fancy case with these little tiles you could interchange for a design of your choice, a modular expansion card slot so you can pick your own ports, and it's got perfect length cables inside to fit this tiny frame. It's also using standard ATX power supply cables, a flex ATX power supply that runs the length of the case, and custom fit cables for both that power and your front USB ports. Not that you have to use modules for all your ports this time around. Frameworks got two display ports, an HDMI port, five gigabit per second ethernet, two USB 4 ports, two USB 3 ports, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, all built right into the back of the mainboard. It's really easy to open up. Each panel is held into place magnetically, the top panel slides on to lock those into place, and then you can screw in a couple of divot screws or even a carry handle on top if you want to carry it to LAN parties. You spin the carry handle into place, and then the arm telescopes out to meet the two halves. There you got your handle, ready to go. Inside, the main board doesn't quite lift right out. It does have the same four mini ITX screws you'd expect, but you do have to remove the top bit of the chassis a little bit, maybe the Flex ATX power supply before you can lift it out, and they didn't let us complete the job here, saying we might not be able to see the final product inside quite yet. And if you want to customize it beyond the optional carry handle, there's going to be a translucent side panel in addition to this matte one, and each of these 21 little squares can be rearranged in whatever pattern you like, and they're open sourcing the design so you can 3D print files online. Like for instance, these little Lego ones that somebody's created here. Or you can touch grass if you want to. Somebody brought some AstroTurf here to Frameworks event. Frameworks CEO says he built this for modern LAN parties, but is it really a good gaming PC? Well, my colleague Antonio has been testing the same chip in an Asus Z13 tablet, and he says its performance is somewhere around a mobile RTX 4060 graphics chip. Here at Frameworks Event, I also got to try a little bit of Cyberpunk 2077 on the thing. We got it running at native 1440p, no FSR or anything like that, ultra settings minus ray tracing, and got it well over 70 frames per second average with a minimum of around 60 on the highest end Strix Halo chip. Not bad. Pricing, not gonna be cheap. You can get the main board alone if you wanna put it in your own mini ITX PC for $799. It's $10.99, about the price of a mid-range gaming laptop, if you want to get the Ryzen 385, the one with eight cores, 32 graphics cores, and 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's the whole desktop in that package, minus bring your own storage and OS. If you go up to $15.99, you can get the top flight chip with 64 gigs of memory, and if you want 128 gigabytes of memory and make your own, I don't know, miniature AI server, you're talking about $19.99 for that. Framework actually showed off four of those, in a little rack mount configuration, daisy chained into each other, if you want to run deep seek models or something like that. They'll all be available for pre-order right away, and they should be shipping in Q3 of this year. Framework didn't need to build a mini PC like this. It's not like modular components didn't already exist. We need a little more of their expertise in the laptop realm, I'd say, where they've also got a new 12-inch touchscreen convertible. It looks pretty cool. Has a stylus with a removable battery you can replace yourself. And it promises that it's not the end for the Framework Laptop 16 either, which is the gaming machine they announced two years ago with interchangeable graphics bays and all that kind of stuff. But they would not commit, once again, to new graphics here. We're definitely gonna keep an eye on Framework. It's one of the only companies that's repeatedly delivered on the promise of modular laptops. They announced a new mainboard this year that'll let you put an AMD chip into even its earliest Intel machine and bring it up to modern spec. I want to see more of that in the future. The desktop, the fun distraction from that. Oh, I'm going to need a clap. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Work?
<laughs> yeah. That's our end card. <laughs> no.